deep breath there after that. Was it a bit like that at the end there, or after the game in general, one of those ones? Yeah, it's one that my voice is gone from yelling again, but it's all part of it, I guess. Um, just makes you feel a little bit, probably hurts a little bit more when you when you get that close after after really not not having the game on our terms for a half. Did you think you had him coming home strong? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, we always believe, so um, we had our chances, but but, if, but the first half we just we didn't look like scoring, uh, which was which was disappointing. Um, so yeah, it makes it hard when you when you put a goal on the board at halftime. Was that the story for the centre for the first three quarters? Because everywhere else it seemed pretty even. Yeah, and it was it was it was probably it was two things. It was we it was probably more that their work rate, their ability to get back. Uh, they're they're as good as we've I've seen for a while in that space. Um, so they worked so hard. We watched it last week in the first half against Richmond, they were so strong at working off ball, back into their back half to help out, and they outnumbered us back there, they won the ground, we, I think we lost the ground ball by seven or ten in that first half, and, and flipped that on its head in the second half. So we adjusted a couple of things which we weren't quite getting right in the first half, and um, yeah, it changed the game, but um, you know, we've got to be better than that. Um, we've got to find our way to get back in and, and even those numbers up so that we can compete ahead of the ball. Ranking forward to after half time, does that change things a little bit? Do you think? Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, I thought he was. You know, if you talk about some positives out of the day, I thought Isaac showed what Isaac can do. Um, he was he was forward a little more, probably deeper forward in the second half. Um, but we also had a few more down there with him. Um, yeah, we were forced to play a different style in that second half, and, and conditions probably affected that as well. What do, you, what do you think changed in that last 10 or 15 minutes? You had three goals in three and a half quarters, and like you say, it wasn't, wasn't quite the Adelaide we've sort of seen last year, particularly when you were so free-flowing. What got things going? You yeah, think? well, I mean, early it was it was our opposition that stopped that free-flowing, and then the, obviously the conditions changed. It makes it hard to really shift and use the ball. Um, so we were forced to play a contest style, and we, and we didn't get that right in the first half. Um, we definitely got it right in the second half. And so it showed we can score quickly, even no matter what the conditions. It rained both both halves, and it was quite slippery even when it wasn't raining. So, um, you, you know, we'll take some, I guess, some positives out of that, that we can score different ways. And, and we showed that at the end. We, we put pressure on our opposition, and we, you know, in the end, just needed that little bit of luck to get a couple more. And it would have been one we stole, because I, I felt like they, they beat us on the day, convincingly. Is it... Would it work better with Tex up front that style in the first half, or is it more complicated, or there's more to it than? Did we miss? Did we miss Taylor Walker? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, we. Of course, any team's going to miss Taylor Walker. He's, you know, he's one of those players that it, he just um, he's been in the game long enough, and he's he's important. He's a leader, and so on. So we, we of course, we miss our experienced players. Um, but there were other areas today that we we didn't get right. We didn't get quite right, and our opposition did. To their credit, I know you can always look back through matches and rude little things, but there was a 50 metre penalty. You turned over a ball from a kick in. And like when there's not many goals, you must it must frustrate you when you think a couple of them are sort of gifted to Gold Coast. Yeah, I hadn't really got thought about those. We we, we do our best to move on from some of those moments. It, it, it's not really a trend in the game, so we. You know, there was a trend in the game which hurt us tonight, and that's why we lost the game. It wasn't a, a, any of those particular execution errors. Um, some will argue with me on that. that well, Nick, you lost by a kick. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get the other stuff right. I mean, this is one game. It's, a, it's one game in the season. We you know, it hurts, and we were we we're disappointed as a group sitting in the rooms. But we've got to we've got to get back on the horse now, and and we'll go again. We go home. We get to play in front of our home crowd, which is going to be awesome. You know, we haven't seen them for a while, so they can get out there and support us and we'll bounce back. You touched on Isaac and he was incredible, particularly in the first quarter. Um, what else, what other positives can you take? Well, lot, yeah, a lot of it, well, the fact that we just kept going, but a lot of individuals, I thought, you know, Keezy, I thought, showed again that his work rates were second. I thought Saligo coming on as our sub, you know, to impact the game. I thought he looked so clean with the ball and put his head in, you know, where he needed to and, and gave us a, a lift. And so that's a real positive. I thought the, the midfield battle was a good one. The centre bounce, you know, we 
We had a little run against us there for a period, but we know how good they are in that space. They've got a dominant ruck. They've got three outstanding midfielders. And, and so do we. We've got a really good midfield group. So I thought that was a, a great battle. Um, yeah, a lot of positives still to come out. I thought Rochelle, again, as well tonight, I thought probably went to another level, you know, also. A few that he'll have back, uh, he'd like to have back, but some really positive stuff from him. So, yeah, a lot of positives for us to look at.